What's up you guys? Today was Elon Musk and the team over at Neuralink's second live announcement and I hope they keep doing this every year because it was incredibly cool to see behind the curtain at the brain computer interface that promises to reshape humanity and become kind of a Fitbit in your skull with tiny wires. Apple and Google are working on wearables and Elon's over here working on insertables. By the time Google Glass is perfected, Elon's gonna have Iron Man your brain. Turns out they had a live audience, everybody was masked up, pretty full crowd of people, and pigs! I was expecting monkeys, but uh, they went with pigs. More on that later. Right up top, Elon wanted to make sure we knew this presentation was all about recruiting. We need software engineering, we need mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, like I said, chip design, robotics. A lot of people think, well, I couldn't possibly work Neuralink because I don't know anything about how brains work. That's okay. Actually, it's not just engineering. <laughs> Obviously, every, everything, all the things that a company needs uh, to work. So, uh, please uh, send in your resume. Do you know how to clean toilets? You're not gonna believe this. We need your skills here at Neuralink. We have a lot of positions to fill. Help us bring the, the product to fruition, uh, make it affordable and reliable, and, uh, and such that anyone who wants one can have one. The second thing Elon wanted you to know is what they aim to fix. The reality is that almost everyone uh, over time will develop brain and spine problems. All of your senses, your sight, hearing, feeling, pain, uh, these are all electrical signals sent by neurons to your brain. And if you can uh, correct these signals, you can solve everything from memory loss to brain damage. An implantable device can actually solve these problems. Basically, humans suck, we degrade, but if you don't notice it, who cares? It goes flush with your skull, it's invisible, and all you can see afterwards is this tiny scar. I could have a Neuralink right now, and you wouldn't know. Maybe I do. Uh, so there's actually a lot of functions that this device could do uh, related to monitoring your health and warning you about a possible heart attack or stroke or other uh, damage, as well as uh, sort of convenience features like playing music. It's also inductively charged, so um, it's charged in the same way that you, char you charge a smartwatch or a phone. Um, and so you can use it all day, uh, charge it at night, and have full functionality. So in terms of getting a link, like I said, it's essentially uh, you open a piece of skull, um, you remove uh, about a coin-sized piece of skull, then the robot inserts the electrodes, uh, then the device replaces the portion of skull that was removed, and we, we basically close that up with actually a super glue, which is how a lot of wounds are closed, and, uh, and then you can just walk around right, after, right afterwards. Pretty cool. Okay, so not long after the opening, he brings out the pigs. First pig, non Neuralink pig, comes out right away, does exactly what it's supposed to do, super happy, eaten out of the hand, perfect. Second pig, that's the Neuralink pig, and. We're trying to get Gertrude out. And this is how you know it's a live demo. Come on, Gertrude. Oh, the beauty of live demos. This is real live demo. Maybe we can zoom in to do go to or something. <laughs> All right, this might take a sec. Well, this, this worked earlier. This is their Cybertruck window moment. So he skips to the pig that had the Neuralink removed. Lo and behold, that pig's back to normal, totally happy doing what it's told, eating out of the hand. Great. <laughs> Once the pig actually finally came out, we learned that the neurons involved with sensation in the pig's snout were the ones hooked up to the Neuralink. The, the beats you're hearing are real-time signals from the Neuralink in Gertrude's head. So this Neuralink connects to neurons that are uh, in her snout. So whenever she snuffles around and touches something with her snout, uh, that sends out uh, neural spikes, which are detected. The speed and the rate of the tones actually increased when the snout came in contact with something. In terms of additional uh, brain reading activity, they're gonna treadmill. <laughs> um, it's a funny, funny concept, really. Um, Elon, you can't make pigs on a treadmill joke anymore. That You're gonna get canceled. We're able with um, a wireless neural, imp neural implant to actually predict the position of, of all of the limbs uh, in the pig's body. Then they showed us actual live neurons firing in association with the electrodes firing. So it looks like at this stage, the electrons can only stimulate groups of neurons. But eventually, I mean, ideally, you'd want a Neuralink that could stimulate individual neurons. 
We then had a pretty lengthy Q&A, which I will just hit some highlights. They didn't answer my question. Uh, I asked about a non-invasive version down the line uh, because specifically a company called Open Water has some technology that can read and write from the brain non-invasively. And so it would basically make Neuralink obsolete and I just wanted them to address the issue of the possibility of non-invasive technology that can read and write the brain. But uh, we didn't get an answer to that, but we did get some other questions from Twitter. And Max Hodeck coined a term that is just perfect. So there's interesting questions long term about whether you do decoding on head or on a phone or on a computer. Ultimately, so at a thousand channels, it's possible to send all the spike data to a phone and do processing there. Um, as this gets bigger and bigger, you're going to be more constrained by the radio. So you're going to want to push more of this on head. Oh, you got that version one, V2. On head processing, son. I'll leave a link to the full presentation in the description. I've also done a couple other videos on Neuralink you can find there as well. Leave me a comment about what you would hope that this technology could do for humanity or you personally. And uh, if you're a Mark of the Beast person, maybe don't leave a comment in this video. This subject of Neuralink brings out all the conspiracy theorists, the religious people, and uh, this channel is about hopeful futurism. I fully realize that there are dangers and risks uh, to this technology. Um, but, you know, let's try and have fun in the comments without saying that, uh, you know, this is the downfall of humanity. Um, and, you know, because, look. The future is going to be weird. Uh, in the future, you will be able to save and re replay memories. You could potentially download them into a new body or into a robot body. I mean, this is obviously sounding increasingly like a Black Mirror episode. Yeah, it's going to get weird. Thanks to the Patreons supporting this channel. You guys are seriously the lifeblood keeping this thing going. And if you're new here, I do a bunch of comedy videos on different futurism topics. Check those out and consider subscribing. Drop a like and a comment, and I'll see you in the next one.